was our trip out to the Chilago Caves. It was very dry on our way out here. Much different environment than when we were in the Dane Tree. We would be walking along the road here and kangaroos would be just hanging out there and jump up as you walk by. We didn't see a whole lot of wildlife at this point. Probably because of how hot it was. What an amazing place. There was an eerie quiet about being here. Nobody was around. The main thing we did see when we were out here as far as reptiles goes, we saw a bunch of skinks. And I talked about these skinks running around on a rock and I was amazed by them and just looking at them, watching that what they did and really saying that if I saw them at a reptile show, I probably wouldn't have looked at them twice, but here in their wild environment, they really captivated me. Very, very cool species. As we walk through these caves, it was such a crazy moment to be sitting where aboriginals had once sat thousands of years ago. I was amazed at how they could live in this environment. It was all inspiring. I felt like I went back in time. Walked around here for a while, seeing if we could see anything uh, behind in the caves, in the cracks, uh, trying to get away from the heat and waiting till nighttime to come out when it would be much cooler.
get a whole different respect for animals and wildlife that live in these environments how tough it is but you know the one thing that I always think about when I look at um, species that I keep in the environments that they live and looking at temperatures is that remember that there's these micro habitats that these animals can go to for instance back in this part of the cave it was 70 degrees so I would imagine that a reptile could go out and bask at any point during the day heat up and then retreat back into these caves to stay cool coming right outside the caves the skinks were running all over from rock to rock just had me mesmerized very very cool little skinks came into these caves the aboriginal art on the wall was awesome how long ago was that made? Just amazing. You know, the greatest decision that I ever made was to go to Australia and get into the environment of the reptiles that I keep in captivity to see what it's really like to be able to feel what the air feels like, what's the humidity like, what are the animals doing. It's just priceless information that you can never read in a book or get from a podcast or even this YouTube video. So if you have the opportunity, I definitely would travel somewhere in the world and get into the environment of the animals that you love so much you will have a whole new perspective on keeping animals in captivity <laughs>